This is northern Catalpa. It's in the family Bignoniaceae. The genus is Catalpa and the specific epithet is Speciosa. So the species name is Catalpa Speciosa. I know, sounds like some uh, taxonomists were a little lazy that day when they were naming this one. We were like, four o'clock, Speciosa. Let's take a closer look at a few of the features of the Catalpa. If you look closely at the bark, you can see that it's not very thick or deep in terms of the fissures or the, the cracks that you'd see here. It's actually developing a little bit of a, this sort of plates that come out, uh, but it does have a vertical texture to it when you're just looking at it. Catulpas also happen to have, a, usually if they're planted properly, a good sized trunk flare so we can see it sort of spreading out there. That's what you'd want to see for a good shape in a catalpa. In terms of the irregular form, if we look up and look into the branches, we can see that they're not branching out in a very rounded or very organized pattern. A little coarser in terms of the branching. Looking at the twig more closely, we can see that this is a pattern that we refer to as world, where we have three one, two, three, or more twigs or buds, more branches coming out of this same location. This structure here that we see remaining, this is where the flowers would have been attached. This is the leaf, pretty typical size leaf for a catalpa. You get a sense of the size of that. They can be a little bit bigger and of course a little bit smaller. And here you can see a reasonably long petiole. So this is a simple leaf arranged in a world pattern. The margin is entire, meaning it's smooth. If we look closer at the twig, we can see here the leaf scar is fairly circular. See a few of those. And the newest twig during the growing season will be this bright green color and then changes pretty quickly into more of a gray-brown as you move down into the older parts of the twig. This is just a newly developing pod right here and you can see it's attached to what was this floral structure. So this was a flower that would have been successfully fertilized and starting to develop. This will grow in size throughout the remainder of the summer and become maybe 18 inches long. Hanging down from a catalpa, you might see this structure. In the fall and winter, these would be long brown, almost looks like a green bean. When they're first coming out, they are green in color. These fall off mostly in the spring. They split open like this one has done. And inside here, there are many, many little seeds. These lighter colored pieces, these are the actual seeds of the catalpa, and you can see they're fluttering in the wind. So here is a closer look at the seed itself. And it has, if you can see it, these little winged hairs. And that's what allows it to fly away basically on the wind. To me it looks a little bit like a Dr. Seuss cartoonish mustache if you were to put it up. Here we're looking at the form of northern catalpa. Notice that the crown is fairly narrow, and it's what's often referred to as irregular, meaning that the branches don't form a particular rounded or vase shape, but instead have an irregular pattern. 